Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you guys my Neospatian Elemental Hero deck profile for July 2017. Uh, this is a deck I've actually been wanting to build for a while now, and I finally got around to finishing it. The one thing I am missing is a good amount of cards for the extra deck, because just for the life of me, I couldn't find where all my Neospatian fusion monsters are. I know they're here somewhere, and I rounded up a few good Elemental Heroes and a couple of the Neospatians. But when we get to the extra deck, I'll just comment, you know, obviously the cards you should run for the deck involving the Neospatians. But uh, the main focus is going for mostly a pure build, uh, for the uh, Neospatian Elemental Hero deck that focuses on Neos and his fusions. Um, if you want a Masked Hero variant, I might do that uh, later on. But like I said, the Masked Hero variant just really required you using, you know, heavy uh, mass change, Shadow Mist support, and it kind of strayed away from the original message of this deck, which was to contact fusion. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. Uh, to start off, I run two Elemental Hero Neos. I was thinking about three, but in my practice with the deck, drawing three Neos really, really, you know, cuts in on your consistency. Since he does require two tributes uh, for getting him out, you want to rely on other methods to get him out using cards basically like Miracle Contact or even, um, you know, getting him into the graveyard using Prisma and having Prisma take his effect, those kind of things. You don't normally want to draw this guy, and having him at two lowers those chances of happening. And for the Neospatian monsters, I run two Neospatian Dark Panther. Uh, this one, um, aside from Grand Mole, obviously Grand Mole is probably the best Neospatian, but that card is at one, sadly, so we only can run one in the deck. Uh, but Dark Panther, I think, would be the next best thing, um, just for ability on the effect that uh, his effect says, once per turn, you can select one face-up monster your opponent controls while you control this face-up card until the end of this turn. Its name is treated as the selected monster's name, and it gains the selected monster's effect. So on its own, it's really good just for the fact that it copies effects and you can, you know, use some pretty uh, pesky effects against your opponent. Just remember with the name change, it takes the monster's name, so you wouldn't be able to use Dark Panther for a contact fusion if you use this effect. But you still want to take into account, um, you know, that you can get off a lot of, uh, you know, shenanigans with that uh, said and done. And I also run one Neospatian Air Hummingbird. I'm running a, just a like quick lineup of Neospatians for the remainder. Well, one of, of Aqua Dolphin, Flare Scarab, uh, Grand Mole, and Air Hummingbird. Uh, and Flare Scarab has the attack boost effect. Uh, Aqua Dolphin has the destruction of a card in your opponent's hand. Grand Mole has the bounce effect. And Air Hummingbird has the... Uh, life gain effect once per turn. They all have very, you know, unique individual effects that, you know, all complement the deck in a different way. And the main reason I run one of each is just for the fact that you don't want too, too many of them because they'll cut in on the plays that you're trying to actually get off. Um, but running just the one of each really helps just in the fact that um, you want to get off that one fusion at that moment, and you don't want to have anything else uh, clogging up those methods. Now, I did run the two Dark Panther. That's just a tech of mine by preference. If you wanted to run Glomoss, the one reason I didn't put Glomoss in is because, in my opinion, he has the uh, least beneficial effect since he does let your opponent draw, and then, you know, some of the effects are kind of risky depending on what he draws, so you didn't want to have to rely on that too, too much. But if you wanted to seriously run Glomoss, take out a Dark Panther and just do a one of of each of the Neospatians. And then I also run three Elemental Hero Prisma. This card, um, very important for this deck for the fact that he takes on the name of a Neospatian just by revealing a fusion in your extra deck, which all the Neospatian Elemental Hero fusions um, have their specific names on them, so Prisma can take whichever name needed at the time uh, just by sending the fusion monster listed to the graveyard, and then he becomes that name. So if you send Neos and you already have Prisma and you still can normal summon, get Air Hummingbird out, and then there's your contact fusion right there, or vice versa if you have Prisma on the field, not Prisma, uh, Neos, and you need one of the Neospatians. And sending them to the graveyard really does help set up for your uh, basic Miracle Contact plays, which we'll get to in a bit. And lastly, for the monsters, one Rainbow Dragon. Now, this card in Neos gets out the crazy powerful uh, Rainbow Neos. Now, the only thing is you don't use a Contact Fusion, otherwise it would be impossible to get Rainbow Dragon out on the field in this deck. It's a normal fusion. You use Polymerization or any other fusion-type method to get out uh, Rainbow Neos. It's not an Elemental Hero, just remember that, so you can't use uh, Miracle Fusion. 
uh, to get it out, so you have to rely on polymerization. But other than that, having Neos in your hand at those times can be beneficial for the fact that if you end up with the Rainbow Dragon as well, you'll get off that fusion. And uh, basically, if you were, uh, you can also uh, reveal a fusion for your extra deck with Prisma, and it'll take that name. And if Neos is in your hand, then you have the polymerization, you can do that as well. And that is it for the monsters of the deck. A very low monster count, just for the fact that a lot of it is very searchable, including uh, Prisma, which can be searched with E-Emergency Call or Reinforcements of the Army, and you can go on from there. Uh, but for spells, I run two Neospace. This card is your field spell that keeps the Neospace infusions on the field. Uh, basically, otherwise they get shuffled back into your extra deck and you'd be out of resources. It also gives them 500 attack, which most of them have 2,500, putting them at 3k, which can be very intimidating as well. And the one big thing is with this deck, at the most of all, you're going to have most of the time just one fusion out with your contact fusion, unless you get something off like Miracle Fusion or something like that. Most of the time, though, if that happens, you'll probably want to end up, you know, relying on the possibility of using your Link Monsters in the deck if you go do want to go down that route. Um, we just need some more generic ones to come out still before we take that into consideration with the deck. But, you know, it will eventually happen and be very easy to make use of in the deck. Also, one terraforming, just to help search out the Neospace. You don't want too, too many because they don't, this isn't a card that helps you rely on basic plays with the deck. It's just a card that's meant to sit there. And if you have your one, you really don't need your other one. So one search of that is plenty enough. And I'll also run three, Miracle Contact. Probably the most important spell card in the deck because it helps with the most consistent uh, fusions for your Elemental Hero Neos, Neospatian fusions. You shuffle into the deck from your hand, field, or graveyard fusion materials that are listed on an Elemental Hero fusion monster that lists Neos as a fusion material and special summon that fusion from your extra deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. So with this, you can get your contact fusions out, ignoring the summoning conditions, not contact fusing, but shuffling them from your hand if they get stuck there. There, which in a lot of cases does happen with Neos, which this card comes in to save the day. And I'm really happy it got a reprint in Light's Revenge. It definitely needed this and made the deck 100% more easier to build. And three, Convert Contacts. Another quick way to get your Neospatians in the graveyard to use with Miracle uh, Contact. Activate only while you control no monsters. Send one Neospatian from your hand and one from your deck to the graveyard. Draw two cards. Draw power. Um, good thing of what to make use of when you draw the Neospatians in your hand. And sometimes with the Contact Fusion effect, your field will be empty and you can make perfect use of this card when that happens. Also, the three a hero lives, pretty standard uh, in all hero decks, just for you to get out your hero uh, with the special summon, and then also basically, you know, take your monster from your hand to normal summon and get your contact fusion. And then two miracle fusions when you're not using miracle contact, just another good backup to go into cards like uh, Absolute, Zero, uh, Great Tornado, the Neospatians all have different attributes, so you have plenty of options to go off of from there. And also two emergency, e-emergency calls for hero searches, and one reinforcements of the army. Um, just the number I was comfy with, since we don't run too, too many heroes, we run the three Prisma and the two Neos. So this can search out the Prisma, and the other ones grab the Neoses if you need them. Most of the time, though, I do just go for the Prismas. And one ancient rules for those quick times when I'm stuck with a Neos in hand. So one little small tech that I enjoy. Um, if you don't want this and you want to rely more on the Miracle Contact plays, which can happen as well, just throw in a third emergency call for quicker grabs for the Prismas. Also, two Ult Oversouls, the special summon um, from your graveyard of a normal monster uh, with Elemental Hero in its name, very standard, uh, Neos grab. And one Wrath of Neos, pretty powerful when comboed with Oversoul. Uh, return it to the deck, destroy all uh, cards on the field, get rid of your opponent's board. Most of the time they don't even expect this card, because a lot of them don't remember that Wrath of Neos is an actual card. And one Contact Out. This card, really good. Um, sometimes, you know, if you don't want to lose your monsters, if your Neo Space isn't an option, Contact Out is a quick play. It can also help just to sun uh, one Neos Fusion um, and its Fusion Materials. Um, on that fusion material in your deck, special summon them, even get out multiple attacks with this card. And then two polymerization, just for those fusions, like I said, Rainbow Neos, stuff like that. Uh, pretty standard there. Other elemental heroes with this and Miracle Fusion and Miracle Contact, you almost always have a fusion uh, play to go off of. Plus one Foolish Burial, just another quick way from the deck to the graveyard for Miracle Contact and Miracle Fusion. One Regeki for the field wipe. 
And then the lone traps we run are one solemn warning and one bottomless trap hole. If you wanted to run solemn strike, I recommend taking out the bottomless trap hole. But uh, just remember, with hero lives, you know, life point costs can become pretty big, so you want to watch out with that. And now as for the extra deck, the cards I could find for my Neos, uh, Neos Patient deck were Rainbow Neos, Great Tornado, Gaia, Storm Neos, and Flare Neos. Now, like I said, they're here somewhere and I had to find them. But with this deck and its options, you can run Magma Neos. The generic heroes you can run are Absolute Neos, not Absolute, Absolute Zero, The Shining, uh, Nova Master, uh, plenty of options there. You can run Glow Neos if you put uh, Glow Moss in. Grand Neos obviously you want to run. Um, just your options run far and wide with this deck of what to put in for your fusion zones. And most of them are pretty easy to go off of, of what you should put in. Just for the fact that if, you know, the Neospatian combo exists between the two, obviously give it a shot. Because you want to have those many options to run in this deck. So you never want to have a certain amount of monsters on the field and say, I don't have a play to go into. So you want to remember that when you're putting together your extra deck for this deck. But yeah, that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.